Hi again. So today we've got a Musket Day, Sever A Man Sur Lee from um, the Vineron de Palais in the Loire Valley called Le Templaire. Quite a mouthful of a name, as often is the French way of doing things. Um, so <clears throat> Musket Day comes from the sort of the Atlantic coast section of the Loire Valley, the Nantes section, around the, the city of Nantes, or sort of the, the, the Atlantic coast of that. And it's made by, we would know the great variety as Muscadet, I guess, but its proper name would often be known as the Melon de Burgoyne, which to add a little bit of confusion in there. Uh, Burgoyne is Burgundy, but it's not from Burgundy. But the Melon would be the grape variety, and it's also not a fruit, so it's all slightly confusing, but often we'll know it as the Muscadet grape variety. It's uh, quite a lean grape variety and high acid grape variety. Now, you'll see why th th these wines are not so much popular in the market anymore. If you go back 20 years or so, Muscadet was quite a big wine in the UK market and it had quite a place. I suppose it was like the poor man Chablis to, to a large degree and still is, I guess. But over the last sort of 20 years, I suppose, with the uh, rise of New World wines in particular, the likes of the Muscadet wines have fallen away because they <coughs> tend to be drier, more astringent, um, don't have that big wow sort of tropical and sweet fruit flavours that you get from say New Zealand or Chile. So surely uh, means on leaves as such. So that's a key with these particular wine styles where after the harvest in the autumn they spend the winter months, six months or so, uh, on leaves which is that sort of debris that comes out of the fermentation process and sort of sinks to the bottom of a barrel or a tank. It stays on those leaves for six months and then what it does is that takes texture, adds tex texture to the wine and can often then leave a little bit of spritz or sparkle in the wine. So this is 2017 vintage which I'm led to believe is a very good year uh, for these wines. Um, so one other thing is the Severin Man is a, a section within the, the Nolte and in the Muscadet region and it is very much granitic granite soils which is great for these sort of wines as well. So colour wise and these are never going to be very deep in colour, it tends to be a little bit of depth to them but sort of more green fresh sort of zesty style. On the nose in this here is quite classic in terms of the really sort of apple -y, Granny Smith sort of character. You get a little bit of um, like fennel coming through in there as well. They're never going to be the most pungent of noses as I explained earlier on. They are a marginal sort of climate where these are produced. So um, they're more about subtlety and they're very food friendly. Mm. You just get that ever so slight tickle of CO2, but it is tiny. It's not sparkling at any means. Get a really sear in the high crisp acid, but it really works well with the wine. It cleans it all out. A uh, nice mid palate to it, a uh, little bit of texture and weight, which comes from that surly process, and a good finish to it as well. It doesn't just drop off either. 12%, so they're not big alcoholic wines. Uh, they're great for just if you want a glass of wines and a pair of teeth, but they're at their best when you're having them with fish, particularly shellfish. So if you're going to have oysters or um, prawns and things like that there, it can work really well. Um, it's things with fish sauces, cheeses to a degree, and a little bit of chicken and stuff in there. But fish is where these wines are particularly good, or aperitif. So if you haven't tried Muscadet, or it's been a long while since you tried Muscadet, don't let the labels put you off. Often is the case, like this one, the labels are pretty shocking, uh, as they are all these sort of old worldy, old style French, uh, typically. Don't let them put you off. Give them a try and match them with the right food and you have a really wonderful taste combination. You'll not be disappointed. So there you go. That's the Le Templer Muscadet Severé Man Sur Lee by the Vineron de Palais, which is a small cooperative of 10 independent vinerons. So small guys, not big corporations, always worth a support as well. So there you go. Remember, kwmy.com, place for matters. Cheers.